Well, welcome into the school's gymnasium. This school has provided a place of respite and safety for over 7,000 Ukrainian refugees. We're in their gym right now. It's one of five rooms that the school have just totally transformed into, as you can see, uh, dormitories. These beds have been donated by the government. And then the toys you can see in the blankets, they're all donations from local Hungarians. You can stay here for 24 hours. There's a free shuttle bus. We're just a kilometer away from the main border crossing from Ukraine into Hungary and this then becomes somewhere of, of warmth, safety, you can get food. It, it's empty now because everybody's having breakfast and the cleaners have just been in to make sure that this is all ready uh, for anyone who wants to stay tonight, anyone who needs to take some shelter and what they're actually witnessing and reporting is a real slowdown in the number of people here and lots of the volunteers can't actually work out why that is. The people that are arriving, we met many of them over the weekend and many yesterday, many are coming here and it's not just a place to sleep, there's plenty of, of beds all the way around here. This room sleeps actually 88 people and the school has capacity for 250 at any one point. But not only is it a place just to rest, but also there's, there's almost like a job centre set up in the reception. You can arrive and explain, we need to stay here, we want to locate to this place. Uh, but there's organisations providing professional advice, sitting down people, often who don't speak Hungarian, who may speak Ukrainian, to say, look, what kind of skills do you have? These are the type of job opportunities we could offer you in Hungary, as well as transport then uh, to other places. Many of the volunteers that I've been speaking to this morning just turning up every day to make sure these places are prepared so there's somewhere safe. You can see uh, behind me there's one lady there with her, her three sons. They can spend time here to just rest, recuperate, and for many of them then work out what the next step's going to look like. Um, Rosie, really interesting seeing all of that. Uh, just a final thought. Um, what happens to the, to the local children who obviously would normally be using that school? Are they being sent to school somewhere else? I know schools have closed it in the sort of border area of the town, but what happens to their education? Yeah, so this is a school for 14-year-olds and above. It's sort of a technical college. All of them, having practiced learning from home in the pandemic, are doing exactly that. Lessons from home. The school has just totally transformed. We were speaking to uh, the local mayor. It's not just the school. To give you an idea, this town of Zahorn has just transformed itself to be a place of sanctuary for Ukrainians turning up. There are a few students in the corridor, and they have really major exams in May. So all of them are doing all of that preparing but just doing it from home, lessons online, because they've decided in this town that this is a more important use for the school right now.